Welcome back to Dave's Small World. Today we're going to pull the outdrive off of this. It's a Volvo Penta 270, 1972. Uh, there's no real big tricks to uh, get it off there, just a couple little things to remove it. But uh, we're going to send this thing out to a professional to have it done. So I'm still waiting for some quotes on some places and to see how many places actually rebuild these. I found one for sure so far. It's about three hours away. And there's a couple others that are, you know, relatively closer. But a lot of guys are telling me these old uh, outdrives, they don't work on them anymore. They got rid of the parts. They got rid of the tools. They just don't do them. The old timers are retiring and uh, they don't want to do this stuff anymore. So uh, we're going to get into it. I'll take it to one of the places. We'll figure that out uh, later on in a week uh, to who gives me the best price. So far, it seems like it's about $100 an hour uh, to do an outdrive service uh, if I pull the outdrive off myself. So that's what we're going to do today. I'm going to teach you guys how to pull the outdrive off. It'll be... Uh, relatively uh, simple, but the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and make us a stand, uh, and then I'm going to attach that stand Katie Wompkis to a, uh, that's a word, look that up, to a uh, hand truck, and uh, that way I'll be able to move around real easy. So uh, here we go. <laughs> If you're new to the channel, thanks for watching. If you're a subscriber, thanks for hanging with me. Uh, if you would, please like, share, subscribe, uh, leave comments below. I read all the comments or try to as, as much as possible and respond to them. And uh, we will uh, try to get back with you. I could use any information that you have on these old boats. Uh, I'm looking for as much help as I possibly can on uh, restoring this thing and like to do it uh, Maybe we can get it in water before the uh, end of the season. We'll try
All right. On the prop, there's these little holes right here. And in these little slots, you've got a spider gear or a spider retaining ring. And you have to bend the little rings up in order to spin this off. So that's what we're going to do right now is get that to spin off. There's a spider ring. It's just cap threads off. You have a bushing inside here that in case your prop hits something, it'll spin this bushing out. We're gonna have this prop checked and balanced when we, uh, when we set it in for uh, However, somebody had uh, gotten their fingers in this before and did damage it. So we're going to pull this out. This is uh, to hold the hood on the place. Loosen up the bellows.
we're going to want to loosen up the bellows. So, out drives off. Um, had to pull the end off of this in order to slide the shifter cable out. The shifter cable is badly damaged and uh, that needs to be replaced. All in all, it was a pretty easy task to pull this thing out. Um, we will uh, we'll take it up to the shop and have them go through this thing. Uh, with the top cover off, the uh, bearing looked good. The uh, the U joints aren't bad. It looks a little rusty, but I think there was uh, you know moisture or whatever over the years. The bellows don't look horrible, um, but they're going to get replaced anyways. I'm just going to put a whole new bellows kit on this. Uh, all in all. Uh, was not a bad job was not hard to hard to pull this thing off so